in today's video i'm going to talk to you about how you can get rid of your facial hair at home yourself hell yeah now i know it's a bit of a struggle for those of us women with a little bit of extra fuzz i've been teased a lot for my facial hair and i have a lot Hair. <laughs> but if you want to keep your facial hair keep it for the longest time I had it go back to my older videos you can check it out before we get started if this is the first video you're watching of mine hello I'm Mr. Jovina George please subscribe to my channel okay now let's get started yay if Facial hair on the whole is really not your issue, but you do have a little bit of a mochi problem or a little bit of a bushy eyebrow problem. One, I'm sure all of you know about this, but a tweezer. You can actually remove a lot of stray strands of hair using this very underestimated piece of tool. Another tool that I was introduced to is this piece of spring with plastic handles on either side. You get this on eBay, you get this on all of the Chinese stores and it's, it's as cheap as just one dollar a piece. It's really super easy to use and the pain is not really that bad. I mean if you want to get rid of your hair, you just have to get rid of your hair. Pain is not gonna come in my way. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but I wouldn't call it very painful, don't be scared. This really does work. So all you have to do is hold it like this on either side, bend it and keep it against your skin, wherever you have hair, keep it flat and then roll, I don't wanna pull out my hair now, and roll it upwards just like that. It's gonna catch all of the hair that is on your face and then just pluck it out of your face. So because it's literally plucking your hair out of your face, it's gonna take time to grow back, which is a great positive. And the very first time that you use it, it's gonna take even like a month or maybe even two months for it to grow back. But as you keep using it, your hair is gonna like figure out what you're doing, so it's gonna come out faster. But anyways, this is not even a big deal. Sit in front of your TV, watch movies and just go and finished. Now I wanna get to the interesting part. You can actually shave your face. What? Yeah, you can actually shave your face. Legendary beauties like Marilyn Monroe and a lot of other Hollywood actresses used to actually shave their face. In fact, even models, soup models, shave their face because it's a kind of an exfoliation technique to literally shave your face. It's called microplaning. It gets rid of all of your dead skin cells. So you know exfoliating. You know exfoliating. You know it. You know that exfoliating. Why can't I say exfoliation? Why do I say exfoliation? You know that exfoliation is good for your skin. Getting rid of the hair is just like an added bonus when you do microplaning. Well, it's just a fancy word for saying shaving your face. Now, here are a few things that you have to keep in mind before you start shaving your face. One, if you have really thick hair, you can still shave your face. But you have to remember that when it grows out, it's gonna be stubby. It's gonna be a little pokey. Once it starts growing out, it's gonna be soft and smooth again. If you are freshly in a relationship, you may not want to feel like a stubby girl. I'm just giving you all the pros and cons before you actually go into it. Hmm? But if you have fine hair, shaving is not a problem at all, especially if you have lighter blonde hair and just fine hair in general, go ahead and shave. I wouldn't use a men's razor just because I don't want to feel like a man shaving his beard. What I'm using over here is an eyebrow razor. It's not really sharp enough to cut you, you know, but it will get rid of all of your peach fuzz. Wash your face, clean your face, pat your face dry, and on dry face, you just need to go like shup, 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 shup. And finished. You're done. You can do this once a week if you want to continue on this pattern. And you will have an absolutely pain-free, easy, quick way of getting rid of your facial hair. Will my hair grow out thicker? Well, it will not grow out thicker. You will not be like a man with a man beard. But it will feel like you have thicker hair because the end of the hair is quite thin as compared to the root of the hair. The root of the hair is fat. So when you chop it off over here, when this fellow grows out, the thick part is out. It's not really growing more hair, it's just that the thick part is out. You know, in a week's time, in two weeks time, this end part is gonna slim down as well because I, I assume because of wear and tear, I don't know the scientific reason. So it's not gonna be that stubbly if you leave it alone for like two weeks. This has got beauty benefits as well. And the very last way you can defuzz your face is by using a sugaring wax. Mm-hmm. You wax your face, baby. 
The sugaring wax is a very gentle kind of a wax. You can use it on your face and your delicate areas. It will not really hurt you as much as regular wax. It's made of natural ingredients like sugar, lemon, honey, those kind of things. In the Middle East, it's very, very easily available. In the supermarket, it's there everywhere, okay? Because it's a very Middle Eastern thing to use sugaring wax all over your body and be fuzz free. But if you are finding it difficult to buy sugaring wax, you can actually make it at home. And my friend, Himal right here on YouTube she's made an entire video on how you can make sugaring wax at home so I leave her link down below Ta -da! I take this jar pop it in the microwave heat it for like 30 seconds and get it in a kind of fluid consistency but obviously not burning hot because nobody wants to burn their face be careful okay dip your finger in there make sure that it's not hot it should just be warm to the touch work in small sections because one it's less painful and two less room for error i like to take a plastic spoon and smear it flat on my face a small little section let it cool for a bit and then just rip it out and once i've ripped off that wax i actually squeeze it and make it a little bit more pliable and use the same little ball for the rest of my face you just literally have to place it over there and rip it out rip is a very violent term it's not that bad just remove it fast and this also actually removes the dead skin on your face and it's gonna give you a glow and yeah it's got beauty benefits as well these are the four ways you can effectively remove your facial hair if none of this appeals to you there is one more method that you can get temporary facial hair removal from at the salon you can ask the lady to do threading all over your face and that also gets rid of your entire facial hair it is slightly painful and it really didn't work for me I tried it a few times and I always got pimple all over my face and it would go down only like three weeks later so nobody's got the patience for that kind of stuff because by then <laughs> the hair has grown back again anyways now if you like something more permanent and you've got no time to worry about defuzzing your face every week or every two weeks then maybe you should just go and get yourself a laser hair removal it's not a big deal at all there are a lot of really good hospitals and doctors out there just get it done it is very expensive and you do have to sit like five six sittings depending on how thick and dark your hair is so it's not just like oh i'll go today and i'll come back super, super smooth that's it for today's video i hope this helped you this has been one of my most requested video to date give this video a thumbs up and if you think this channel is worth subscribing to subscribe to this channel and introduce a friend of yours to this channel also if you feel you need to follow me more than just watching my videos you can follow me on instagram or snapchat or facebook or twitter i'm on all of this internet world okay you can follow me anywhere you feel like following me also check out my older videos i have some vlogs and i have some fashion videos and hauls and some funny videos kind of stuff yeah hope you have a wonderful day today bye